The Apollo 13 spacecraft and its three crew members, Commander Jim Lovell, Command Module Pilot Jack Swigert, and Lunar Module Pilot Fred Heise, were traveling to the Fremoro Islands of the Moon after a safe launch. But that's not how things worked out. The spacecraft's oxygen tanks were destroyed by an explosion on April the 13th, disabling the power system and turning what had been a routine trip into a life or death struggle. Odyssey, the orbiter or command module, and Aquarius, the landing module, were linked by a tunnel to form the Apollo 13 spacecraft. The spacecraft was around 200,000 miles from Earth early on April the 13th, and was slated to enter the moon's orbit the following day. The astronauts turned on Aquarius to check its systems for the lunar landing after doing a TV broadcast. An explosion shook the ship at 9.08 p.m. as Lovell was returning to Odyssey through the tunnel. One of the spacecraft's cryogenic oxygen tanks lost pressure eight seconds after the explosion, cutting off the supply of oxygen, electricity, light, and water to the command module. Mission Control said, Mrs. Houston, say again, please. <laughs> then Lovell echoed Swidgert's well-known line, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Apollo 13 single quote S flight was changed from a lunar landing to a survival mission an hour after the incident. Controllers in Houston told the astronauts to enter Aquarius and use the landing module as a lifeboat while they attempted to return to Earth. Aquarius had a power supply adequate for two astronauts for 45 hours of travel from the command module to the moon's surface and back. It would now have to keep three men alive for at least 90 hours across a distance of more than 200,000 kilometers. Lovell, Swigert, and Hayes limited their daily water intake to six ounces and cut their electricity use by 80%. To remove carbon dioxide from the cabin, Mission Control built a makeshift adapter from of materials found on board, then raided directions to the astronauts on how to connect the lithium hydrogen cartridges from the command module to the landing module's hoses. Due to the lack of a thermal barrier that would allow Aquarius to survive that return voyage to Earth, Odyssey would have to be restarted in order to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Odyssey re-entered Earth's atmosphere shortly before 1 p.m. on April the 17th, having lost Aquarius as well. After four minutes of radio silence, the world's attention was drawn to the sky above the Pacific Ocean, where the astronauts' parachutes were observed and they safely landed on the water's surface. Lovell, Heise, and Swigert were greeted as heroes when they returned home aboard the rescue ship USS Iwo Jima, despite the fact that their mission had been one of the most spectacular failures in NASA history.